Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. This video we are looking at the Trollmaster Hydro X control system, the HCS-1. I have it set up here in a tent, just simulating a grow environment. And I'm gonna run through with you all the um, bits and pieces, the sensors, and the features and functions that um, Trollmaster has sent me, including a power meter that uh, is part of this system, which I'm gonna be testing against um, a power meter that I use regularly, or quantum sensor that I use regularly. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at the uh, equipment that they sent me first. So here is the, uh, the boxes of equipment they sent me. So the Hydro X controller, got the display, and um, your inputs and outputs here. They also sent me, as I said, the uh, quantum sensor. So I'm gonna look at that separately and uh, cal see what, um, what it's like in terms of accuracy. Then got a bunch of sensors. So we got the CO2 sensor. Um, uh, by the way, the Hydro X comes with a humidity and temperature sensor, I think it's standard. And then we've got some outputs. So these are the um, blocks that switch on or off your devices. So we have a humidity one, which could be you know, for a dehumidifier or AC, um, a CO2 station, which would activate your um, CO2 valves to supplement your CO2, temperature station, a heater uh, or cooler, cooling fan, uh, or AC of course, uh, program station. I think this is really best suited probably, or would be most used by people for um, for watering um, or for pumping. And then we've got a lighting control adapter. This uh, converts the network signal, the digital signal into a, a DC analog signal. So zero to 10 volt to control most um, LED grow lights with the RJ cable connectors and just got an extra uh, jack connector there. In terms of the equipment as it looks laid out, you can see here it looks quite messy in terms of cabling, but that's just because you've got long lengths of cables here and um, just left them out so you can see rather than hiding them in the tent where it'd be a bit more difficult to see what's going on. So here we have the Hydro X controller and this, as you see, has a display which gives you a readout of what the current environmental conditions are. You can see the power. The power meter is underneath the grow light at the moment. You can see the temperature, I have it in degrees centigrade, 15.1, 71.7% humidity, uh, 546 parts per million CO2. And this is indicating that the light is on. Go through more functions on this in a minute. Just adjacent to it there is the uh, controller. This is the standard one, LMA14. As I said, it provides the, um, the zero to 10 volt signal. And that is hooked up to the grow light and the in port in the grow light for, uh, for dimming. You could of course be daisy chaining that signal then for multiple units. In this case, the GrowWealth G1500 uh, switches off on a low signal, low um, dimmer signal. So you can switch on and off the lights with the, uh, with the dimmer from dimming signal from, the, uh, from this little adapter. We then got the sensor inputs first. So there's one line coming out of here, it's a network connection the sensor inputs. Now though it looks like there's a lot going on, it's pretty simple. Cable comes out and comes into a splitter and splits into two other cables. And then I have it split again, giving me a total of three sensors that I can connect. And here we have the humidity, uh, temperature, humidity, light, and we have the CO2 uh, and light sensor. So these both yeah, detect a level of light as well. And then this little fella 
is the, um, the digital readout for the power or quantum sensor or power meter. So it just reflects the same number there. You can see the 193 there and the 193 there. That's all the sensors. You just simply plug them into that port, plug them in um, to their network connector in the splitters and they activate um, straight away. But you can set uh, input settings to the controller, which I'll run through in a minute. Then you have the outputs. Again, you've got a single port here and that comes out this cable and then a split here and then split again. So I'm using three outputs um, and these are all labeled. You can see hopefully there. So humidity, this would be connected to a dehumidifier or a AC or a humidifier, depending on what, what uh, functions you want to have. This one is CO2 and this one is temperature. And then they provided me with an additional ones, as I said, um, which can be programmed into whatever function that you want. These are plugged into a plug board, as you can see here, which provides the power and this network signal into the device. We'll switch it on and off. You get a little indicator light to see whether they're on or off. So you can see the CO2 is set for a thousand ppm as a target. We're at 578 at the moment, so it has this switched on to increase the CO2, um, which would be connected if it was fully set up. That's uh, an overview of the system and how everything connects up. Of course, the cabling would be wired in through the tent and all the sensors would be at the right levels, you know, canopy level and everything, if you had it set up properly. Let's just run through the features on the, um, on the controller. As I said, on the main screen, you got your display with the uh, power, temperature, humidity, and um, CO2, an indicator telling you your lights are switched on. You go in to the menu for each of the sensors, you can enter in specific settings. So with light, we're actually on line two, uh, the power is currently set, uh, the mode is LED, you have LED or HID. Power is set for 14%, that's the target on level, just so we don't get too much glare for the lights. To change any of the settings, go to the particular box, enter and just increase or decrease. And then we have the on off time. And then you have the additional functions, which if you're getting over temperature, you have an additional function to dim the lights and um, to stop them or switch them off at, uh, if it gets to very high temperature. You also set sunrise and sunset. For temperature, we're on device one. You can have multiple devices, so you could have heaters, coolers, ACs, whatever. Um, so again, we have, uh, you can set the device to go on when above or below a certain set point. So heater, you'd be setting it below a set point, say 15 degrees centigrade. And in this case, we've got the um, cooler coming on at 27 degrees. We don't want to get things too hot. And then look at uh, humidity, same as temperature, really, all the same sort of settings. You do have day and night for the different um, on points or triggers. Similarly with CO2, to PPM in this case. And then you have the program, which is to program a particular device. And you've got lots of multiple settings uh, for that. Um, and then you have your general system settings, temperature, format, time, etc. Other features, um, oh, I forgot actually, in your temperature, for example, you have alarm settings. So um, this can be connected up to the internet 
and then uh, you have an app as well and you could set an alarm that if it gets below or above a certain temperature that you'll get notified and alarms will register on the system and then you can look at the register here you got your device status uh, so L1 light 1 it's not active at 100% L2 19% um, C1 so CO2 is on as we said before you can see all the different devices and back to your main screen so I have a particular interest in the power meter course the quantum sensor so at this dimming setting I've set up the um, two sensors right beside each other just under the light you can see here uh, I hope you can see that it's registering 199 micromoles on the spot on 198 uh, and on the display here you can see it's registering 196 if I um, go in and increase the light output Check it right up there. It's now at 33%. We've now got a power reading of 320 on the Trollmaster and 323 on the spot on. We'll try again. Put it right up. So it's like at the upper end. Oh, it's now going right up to 100%. And let's see, oh, you can see that still now at the glare. 903 micromoles on the spot on, and 896 on the Troll Master. I did a few tests like this. Um, I did them in the corners where the light would be coming at the sensor at angles and I did it under high intensity light up to about 1200 micromoles and low intensity down to about 90 micromoles and in all cases the, um, the Trollmaster quantum sensor was just as accurate as the spot on so as far as I'm concerned it gets the full stamp of approval. Got a nice little handy clamp bracket as well which I should have shown you, but I haven't. Um, clamps onto the temp hole, and you can clamp the sensor in position in a prominent place in the tent. So you can set the uh, PPFD very accurately with a feedback from the, um, from the quantum sensor. If you have your HydroX controller connected to the internet, you can then download the um, Trollmaster app and you get a full readout, live readout then of, um, of your environment. You can see graphs over time of the, um, of the environmental conditions. You can see any alarms will come up and you get notifications of those alarms, as I said, for low temperature, high temperature, etc. And uh, yeah, really there's, a, there's not much in terms of functionality that this Hydro, um, this Trollmaster system, the Hydro X controller, and uh, all these sort of periphery equipment pieces can't do. Um, yeah, very thorough and complete system. Very easy to use. Um, looked a bit intimidating to me first, I have to say, when I took it out, there's a lot of cables and <laughs> looks like there's a lot going on. But it's once you learn for one component, it's the same for all. You simply plug them in, device um, reads what the sensor is, picks it up and uh, sets it in a default straight away um, in fact everything was set on default so you just had to really enter in the time and the on off times um, for the lighting schedule and uh, pretty much everything seemed to else seemed to make sense you could take modifications to your high temperatures or your low temperatures or your on off um, switch points but other than that there was not a whole amount to do and um, you know the fact that this is um, you can add on multiple devices and be controlling multiple grows or areas at the same time 
means that you get uh, real good um, functionality and value out of this single system. So thanks for Trollmaster for sending it on. Any comments or suggestions, always warmly welcomed. Please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.